Alright, what I'm going to be doing today is showing a quick video about how to do my abstract symmetry or creative chaos art. What you'll need is two matching canvases of the same size. So you get any two canvases, any size. They can be large, they can be small, whatever. And you get your paints. I've got, for this one, I've got three basic paints that I'm going to go with. Got a green, a blue, and a black. And then I'm going to accent it with a little prettier blue there. And that's going to be my paint. Now the first thing we do is we go around the border. Put them together. I'm going to put them together this way this time. That's how they're going to hang on the wall side by side. I want to do a border. But I don't want to do the border in the middle. I'm just going to do it around the outside here. So I'm just going to put a little black. Right on the outside. Nice and liberal with it. Sometimes the thickness adds to the dimension of the painting and lets it do a little bit more. So we're going to cover that up on the outside and that's going to be our border. But we're going to throw, want to throw in some border color in the middle too. To just kind of accent it. But not all of it, just like something like that. Maybe a spot over here. That's our black. Now we want to do a little with blue. Our second of four colors. And we just randomly put it on there. Maybe a shape over here. Skips a little bit, some circles, some lines through them. And then you can do both sides, one side. But the key is you, you want to cover up most of the canvas. So you want to use a liberal amount of paint. So I'm doing this one here. I'm trying to take up as much as the white as I can. And realize it's going to spread a little bit. So it'll fill in some of the gaps there. I'm going to do both sides just to make sure a lot of that white is gone. Because white's really an eyesore on this abstract art, so you want to cover it up. And this is my accent paint. I'm only going to do this very, very, very little bit. But you'll see how it really has an effect bringing it all together. All right, we're almost ready to do the folding or the templating that'll give it the symmetrical look. But what I want to do first is take the bottom of the paint here, kind of spread it out a little bit. See if it's going to cover up all my canvas. Looks like there's going to be some white left over, so I'm going to show you how to touch that up right after this. We're now ready to fold. I'm going to fold this completely in half, just bring them together, make them one, lay it down, make sure they're all lined up nice, you want to press real gently on it, and just make sure that the paints, the paints mix, you press on the corners, press on the edges, just try and touch everywhere and press them together, this is going to spread the paint and give it a, a textured look and a blended look. And we're almost ready for the reveal. And we're going to peel these apart. And please note if there is any white space in the background of the, the painting, we're going to cover that up and refold it again. And that's the beauty of doing this. You can do them many times until you're happy with it. Now I'm ready to peel them apart and see what this does. So you take them, put them in the middle here, and you just peel them directly apart. Now if you can get a shot of that, see how the white's still showing in the middle. So that's why we got the accent paint. We're going to bring out, we're going to really hit it hard in the spots where it has white. And then we're going to come back with some blue, make sure it's more present than the light blue so fill in some more of the white a little more of the white over here and a little bit more green would be nice I like that green 
it's coming out pretty. And we are now ready to fold one more time. So we're going to bring them up like this, smash them together, set them down. Okay, now it's blended, it's pressed on all four sides. We're going to bring it back up top for the reveal. That's our two symmetrical abstracts arts. Now you notice there's still some white, so this is where it gets creative. We're going to blend it in here. And just blend these colors and fold it one last time just to make sure that there's no white showing. We're going to drag some of these colors out into the black too. That black border seems a little heavy, so we're going to drag some of these out. Make sure we cover up all the white. See how that accent paint and the green comes out there pretty nice. This one we're just going to mix up a little faster. We're still going to drag out some paint here. And we're ready for one last fold. So you see where it's at now. I'm going to get this fold on. Set it down, press it on all four sides, take it up, peel it apart. And look at that. That's our pretty symmetrical art. It's got the blended colors in there. We're going to do uh, one more on the smaller ones just to make sure you got the technique down. That's thick on there. I, I, I'm liberal with the paint. I, I believe myself that you know there should be a sacrifice in every painting. And since I'm not sacrificing time, I'm sacrificing paint because this is a very quick technique, and it's fun for any age. Any individual out there can have fun with it. Like I said, we're going to use up the rest of the paint on these. Seeing how much we got here. Every little last nugget I paid for. That one's going to be a green and light blue one over here. I'm going to take some of this paint, cover up all the white again. Take some of this paint over here to these. In fact, I'm going to show you a quicker technique. This one doesn't even have paint. As long as you cover up all the white on one and fold it like that, press down, spread it out. You can even do a little twirls and twitches with the canvas. Peel it apart and got another one ready. It's like a little office hanger right there, or dorm room. We're going to fix the white in it. One more fold. Real quick fold. Just so it's symmetrical. Pull it apart. See how it blends in rivers and there's cracks and, and mountains of paint and that gives it a texture to it as well. So that's the technique, and once you get these down, imagine they can sit up on the wall, single as this one is, it has the match. This one I did a long time ago, it's a 30 by 40, but it has one that matches it too. But you can put them up singly, you can put them up in pairs, side by side, you can put them up a little catty corner. As long as you do something uh, creative with it, it's going to come out looking right. And my name is Kelly Donlin, and that's how to do abstract symmetry or creative chaos, and thank you.